Um, so now we will get into questions. Uh, we also have Kyle's email here uh, and my email directly. So if you do have follow-up stuff, you can reach out to us. Um, I'm gonna pull up the question and, uh, panel, which usually I would be looking at throughout the entire presentation, but I am at a hotel and cannot, uh, I don't have all my screens. So uh, let's just dive into a few of these in the little bit of time that we have. Uh, let's see, uh, okay, price of a Mavic 3 multispectral. We never actually said that. Yes. Um, is that something you wanna cover, Randall, or do you want I to? I actually don't know. Yeah. Um, price, it's going to be very, very similar to the Mavic 3 Enterprise, like within $100, maybe two. Oh, okay. I don't remember what the price is, but very similar. Yeah. You know, there's some difference on the care side. 4500 something like that. Yeah. And I, but I would recommend, if you're, bu if you're budgeting it in, include the RTK module. So, yeah, maybe it's closer to the Mavic 3 Therm. No, it's less than the thermal price. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so uh, uh, RTK we've covered, mechanical shutter uh, we've covered. There's a lot, I mean, you you were very in depth, so there's not a lot of like questions. Uh, there, someone asked about the calibration panel that you might recommend. Do you want to share that just in case? <laughs> yeah. That's a tough question. Is it a there's, tricky not, one? there's not very many people manufacturing them. Um, I mean, so you, I know that Microsense manufactured them for the Red Edge sensor. They're still manufacturing the Red Edge sensor. That's now, I guess, an Ag Eagle product as well. Um, I'm not, don't quote me that you should go to Ag Eagle or go to Microsense to purchase a calibration panel. I'm not sure if they're selling them individually. It's a great panel. It works with the Mavic 3 Multispectral. I know of that. It's just, um, they may be much harder to come by, but there's also methods of being able to make your own with the right materials. So we can maybe send up follow up. Perfect, that's fine. Um, someone asked about infrared sensing. Uh, as like an additional uh, band. And I know that uh, multi, uh, sorry, Microsense made the Altum and they added thermal in there. Is that something that you found to be beneficial for picking up invasive species or anything like that? What, what, do you, what is your opinion on infrared in the whole multispectral stack for, for ag? It's, there can be value there. We've seen a lot of people go after thermal for water management and water stress. But beyond that, it can add extra complexity. The cost of sensors is really expensive. And remember, you're typically flying over very homogenous areas, meaning large cornfields, large soybean fields. So stitching 640 by 512 resolution imagery of cornfields is really hard to do. Um, within plots, there may be value there, but I, I would stick to multispectral. You're gonna learn more on vegetation within those bands. Okay, I'm gonna ask one more question and I apologize guys, I, I have a flight so I can't go too much beyond and I know Kyle, you've always been willing to do that, but we will go through your questions and I'll send out an email to everyone that registered with the answers to the questions that we could dig up. Um, there's quite a bit and I appreciate you guys being so uh, attentive and also so curious, um, but that's uh, I, it's an IOU for sure. Um, I do want to say that the recording from the webinar will be sent to you within the next 24 hours. If you want to revisit it, if you want to share it with other people, that's appreciated. I've mentioned several times that DJI Terra uh, three-month license, that is just for you for joining this webinar and uh, filling out a short survey so that we know who's actually interested from this webinar. So I've sent that link again in the chat. If you go through, fill out that two-minute survey, we'll make sure that you have that license soon. I can say it it's working with DJI to get those licenses sent out, but I will say that it's within a few days at the most. Um, so again, thank you for being here. Thank you for asking all these questions and thank you for, for making you know Kyle and I's life uh, easy by you coming to us uh, with wanting to learn more uh, because that's what we are here to do. So my last question is on sample data. There are people that maybe want to, they're maybe going to get a license for Terra uh, through this webinar, or they're just curious about how this might be different than what they're capturing already. Does DJI provide any uh, data sets or something that they can use for processing that is readily available? 
Great question. The only data set I have that's publicly shareable, ready, available is of Iowa in December. So not ideal, but you can still have access. Hit me up via email. Um, and we can also, I'll follow up with you, Randall, so that you can send it out in the, in the follow up. But we are trying to figure out data repository and where we can house a multispectral data set. So we will, I'll follow up. Sounds good. And again, there's probably like literally there's probably 40, 30 to 40 more. Well, probably 40 to 50 more questions that uh, we didn't get to. And some might be um, might be repeated. We I owe you answers. Me personally, I will likely tap Kyle to help me with some of those answers. But um, know that we'll get back to those questions because they are important. We just didn't have the time to get to them. Um, Kyle, again, thank you for your time and your expertise and your passion for this technology. Everybody that spent part of their day with us, thanks for being here. And uh, you'll see the recording soon. If you have any follow-up questions, hit, hit either of us up via email, and uh, we'll do this again soon. Take care, thanks, everyone. everyone.